Hello, this is Jane Goodall. I'm sure you're wondering why I was chosen to welcome you to the World Seabird Conference. Well, for one thing, I grew up very close to the sea in England, and the haunting calls of the seagulls that flew over the house were actually part of my childhood. And they thrilled me because they seemed to be bringing tales from the wild places far over the ocean and I just wished I could understand what they were saying. And then during my first journey to Africa in 1957, I went by sea because that was how one did in those days. And there were all the birds circling around the, around the ship. But unfortunately, I didn't have a bird book with me and nobody seemed to know what the different species were, but they were still magical so far from land. And then one day, several people recognized an albatross, and that was a very exciting moment. And of course, it made me think of the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Much more recently, when I was collecting information for one of my books, Hope for Animals and Their World, which was about rescuing endangered species and restoring habitats, I learned a whole lot more about seabirds. I discovered the heroic work of so many people, biologists and scientists and conservationists, working to save endangered species and to restore the island habitats where they breed. I had to make a choice. I chose the short-tailed al albatross, the abbot's booby, bull's petrel, and the Bermuda petrel or kahal. I learned about so many more. I met so many more amazing people. And the big problem was I wanted to include all the stories and I couldn't because there simply wasn't room in the book. And the publishers were, no, Jane, enough. At any rate, <clears throat> I know enough to believe that this World Seabird Conference is really, really important. All of you are working to understand ever more about seabirds. And as you do this, you're contributing to our knowledge of the ocean ecosystem. And that means that all of you, like me, must be deeply concerned about the harm that we're doing to our oceans. Of course, the combination of rising sea levels and pollution, unsustainable and destructive fishing methods and so on, takes a huge toll on wildlife, including, of course, seabirds. But in addition to this, it's the oceans along with the forests of the world that play such an important and crucial role in sequestering carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. I'm, of course, working on trying to save the tropical rainforest, but I'm also trying to make people aware of the tremendous importance of healthy oceans in our fight to at least slow down climate change, to slow down global warming, I should say. Finally, I want to say that I'm sure this is going to be uh, an educational and exciting conference, and I think it will be highly successful. And I hope that all of you participants will take this amazing opportunity to share stories to make new friends so that you will send out a joint message to the world which will make everyone realize how important what you're doing actually is. And I, for one, much look forward to hearing about the results. And now, in my traditional way, I end with a call from the forest that I know so well, the call, the greeting of the chimpanzee. Oh, 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 oh,